Welcome one and all to the next part in Campaign 6 Sectarian Conflicts. I am your host, Vernity Void. This is part 15, and we're going to 1780 or 1785, around there, you know. Uh, last part, we saw the end of the Age of Enlightenment, and we're moving into the Age of Industrialization. So, we had quite a few happenings in the last part. Fulda collapsing even more because you know they think that sticking up for their allies is the right thing to do honorable but uh terrible of them at the same time algarb they uh they had some colonies try to declare independence but that did not work out for the colonies algarb is very much still large and in charge as we see right here you know i really don't think that uh algarvian west indies is going to do much against the parent country. Uh, Ireland is ascendant as per usual. The Four Shadow Kingdom and Syracuse are also ascendant. Oh, uh, I believe, yes, the papacy is now a tributary of Syracuse. Syracuse transitioned to Vajrayana Buddhism. As strange as that was, I believe that is a remnant of uh, Senkir Ord living on in Syracuse. And uh, what else did we get? Uh, I think... Oh, yeah, we had Maram and Finland going off with colonization. Maram tried to invade the Timurids, but actually got pushed back by Karakitai and Al Nasser. Uh, the Mamluks got invaded by Syracuse. Uh, not much action in East Asia. It's just really Venice consolidating their holdings. Utsurepan got kicked off into the Pacific Islands. They are still alive. The Order of the Duck. The enemies are closing in for that roasted duck but they haven't reached the capital they have not uh bali is up and down but i mean i think their fleet is gonna keep them safe i think i don't know they are at war with kalyani chalukya which could you know that could stir some things up and they're also at war with chola but uh i uh, the balinese army should be able to handle them but uh that's that's really about it for now. That's like all the major changes. Uh, I should also be mentioned Sahel and Thropus, they tried to help out Senkar Ord when they were getting attacked uh, and subsequently annexed, but did not work. They tried to go around Karahitai again and nothing worked. Shame on you, Sahel and Thropus. Shame on you. Paradox just waltzes in and you just don't do anything. And Jain is, you know, at, there are people are at war with Jain because, well, they, they are free pickings. They have scattered holdings all over uh, Asia and the Indian Ocean, and it's just like, hey, why not? Paradox is trying to invade South China with some colonists, but we'll see if that works out. The United States, they've been at war with Ardurg and Sweden, but that's, that's resulted in just... United States victories. The opposition cannot withstand the United States. Nova Scotia is probably also going to get independence because Alba cannot do anything. Literally, just like, it's Nova Scotia plus Florida. What is Alba going to do? Nothing. They, have, they, have, they actually don't have any ships. Let's check in on the wars. Current wars. Uh, yep, Jain, 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 Finnish, uh, conquer, or, they're going after Beled, Ireland's going after Sulu, and people are going after Alba. So, really, there's not too many big things happening. You know, Al Nasser wants this land right here, Qatar, because for some reason Alba thought, eh, I want Qatar. And then, yeah, Kalyani, going after ba Balinese land. But, like, Bali is taking the fight to the enemy. Trikalinga is gonna fall if Kalyani doesn't do anything. Like, you need to do something. Uh, so Chola has the discipline. They, they're they slightly edged out in morale. But Chola has a slight edge in tactics. So, Bali a little on the short side. But quantity-wise, they're on the up and up. So, that's... That's going to make sure Bali keeps control of here, for now. Galliani reinforcements are coming in. The elephants are marching through the coastline. 
Bali, you need to reinforce. You need more than that. Otherwise, you're gonna get stomped. The elephant trample. Watch yourself. Oh my god, they are right on the tail of Bali. It's looking like it's a dead end, though. Friendly, friendly territory. If they can get, like, down here, they're fine. And they did. Nice. Bali with the good troop movements. Bravo. Clap, clap, clap. It's not often that you see the AI able to do that sort of evasion against other AI armies. That's actually really cool to see. Uh, Kalyan, with Kalyani's forces over here, though, they're probably going to take over this uh, th this region from Bali. I'm not sure. It depends on how much Kalyani wants to dedicate. Oh my god, Bali's defensiveness is completely shit compared to the Kalyani siege ability. And Bali... Oh my god. That Balinese military strength really dwindled fast. Uh, I think um, Bali was more of a paper tiger than I imagined. Unfortunate. Oh god, there's more. I was busy. I was busy. Uh, Nugoslavia is going after... Oh god. That's bold. That is bold, Nugoslavia. But you got Finland backing you up. That's... Oh boy. Because the fourth Shadow Kingdom is in this too, and the fourth Shadow Kingdom, I that is as much as they can muster. Yugoslavia is mustering five hundred thousand. Finland is mustering five hundred thousand. Algarb, stem the tide as much as you can. But holy shit, this is a lot. I'm not even gonna try and like commentate over all this because it's just so many battles. But I think it's safe to say. Yugoslavia knew what they were doing when they declared this war. There's, uh... I don't think there's any help for Algarb here. Maybe if Algarb was able to take it slow and... What's it called? Uh, take piecemeal fights here and there? Maybe, but I don't know. Four Shadow Kingdom versus Yugoslavia. The Yugoslavia has every category checked off. They've the only thing that's going in the favor of uh, Algarb in this in their homeland of Iberia is that they got a slight numbers advantage, but even then, it's like once the forts go down in the north, Finland and Yugoslavia are just going to start pouring in. And soon enough, the Fourth Shadow Kingdom is going to be out because they're getting besieged all to hell. Once the Fourth Shadow Kingdom is out, Algarb, you're, you're just a sitting duck. As much development as Algarb has, it's just not enough. It's not enough to stop Finland from rocking the house, from Yugoslavia rocking the boat. I don't know what you do. It just all seems to be too much. Damn. Yeah, I don't know, man. This is this is really rough. It is good that uh, Algarve has a base of uh, refuge in North Africa. Like, uh, I, the Yugoslavia Navy and the Finnish Navy, I don't think can take on, uh, can be that spread out to where they can take over the Straits. So I think Algarve has a safe spot in North Africa if they want to take refuge. But even then, it's, uh, I don't know how well it's going to do. The Belen Tower, that's nice for, uh, Lixbuna, but I, I don't think it's going to do much. Like, they're just pouring in. The gates are broken. There's peace. There is peace. What did they lose? So new, uh, okay, so Algarve really just lost like some, some northern holdings. It's not that bad. It could be worse. Uh, but it, it does show that, like, Hey, Algarb, they're they are really not on par with this military hegemon and this ally of the military hegemon. Uh, Goddamn. 
Catarike is going after more colonial nations, namely Algarve and La Plata. Ven Venice is going after Viterkoi again. Chola is going after Jain. Ronaldo is going after Bali, and Sahel and Tropis is going after Bali. They want this. Oh, those imperialist wars, though. They are, so you're not going to get ticking war score. You need to not. need to stop these imperialist wars. Because. You're not. You're just not getting war score. It's it's that simple. Aquitaine is going after Onangolia again, but Onangolia actually has fifty thousand troops. I mean, probably not going to do much, but good luck. If Aquitaine lands there with like another fifty thousand of their own, you're done. But. Good luck. Algarve and La Plata. Yeah. Catarike has 300,000 down here. You're not... You're not escaping. The, uh, The wrath of the Guarani. Iconoclast. And monastic. What are their ideas? Yeah, they've got... They've got some pretty good ones. Now, the Marines... I don't think... I don't think they're using Marines, are they? Let me... That, tell me. Are you using Marines... They are not. I don't know. I don't know if the AI uses Marines. I really don't. Just like I don't know if they use Janissaries or not. I. Uh, Nova Scotia. Oh, you're still a colony. Ugh. Ardurg. Second Finnish Ardurg Imperialist War. Are you gonna be able to actually invade Finland? Are you gonna land troops? Your colony is suffering. Our Dunderg has a sizable force. They can, they can fuck up Finnish Canada. Uh oh, uh oh. Kaliani Chaluka Scottish Imperialist War, and so Kaliani is allied with Al Nasser and uh, the Mam or Somalia, and they're at war with Alba and the Mamluks. Now this. This is a war I want to see. But Al Nasser isn't in this war. Somalia has to contend with the Mamluks on their own. Where's your army, Somalia? Where is your army? Oh my god. Oh, Somalia. You done played yourself. You just rolled out the blue carpet for the Mamluks. Honestly. Just... Why? I just... I... I don't, I don't know. I've got no more comments on that. Just... Jesus fucking... How's the Order of the Duck doing? They're chillin'. And their King Ayan Shah Saktiarai. Bali is chillin'. They're trying to regain their manpower, trying to rebuild their land forces. We'll see if they can. Yeah, I'm no I am noticing that the game is running a little bit slower because uh, we're getting late into the game. Is this... I think this is Sion. Algarve is going after Bali, but again, it's like... I don't know how many... I'm not going to reiterate it. Reiterate it. It's another Imperialist War. Like, go figure. I'm... Just not going to do it. Nothing's going to happen. And Katarai. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Uh, but you're allied with Yugoslavia. I don't like seeing that. New, the the Yugoslavians, they need to be culled a little bit. Fulda and the Papacy, like... Fulda, 250,000, that's great! But you know what? Yugoslavia doubles you. Let me see this quality. Fulda actually doesn't have... The, how are you... For all who depend on us... What? What modifier is that?
Is that over here? No, it's not. I'm not seeing it there. Is it in there? No. Is it over here? That's 10% morale, but... For all those who depend on us? Oh, well, I got, it's not there anymore. Maybe that was Yugoslavia. Ah, it's right. No, 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 no. What the fuck? For all those who depend on us. I don't know what, where that where that's coming from. Um Oh conscription focus. So you're they they are sacrificing their discipline kind of. Not even that much. But Okay. Okay, I gotcha. As soon as this war is done, I'm going to check in on see if the revolution has spawned in yet. I want to Sweden and all God, but that the United States has that in the bag. And then... Beijing is only through Aquitaine and... Ch Ooh. Yeah. Aquitaine can't, isn't doing anything about this, so... That's just... GG well played. It's, it's over, Fulda. Just unconditionally surrender. It's... I don't know what you can do. I... There's just nothing. Like, I'll zoom out and you can just watch those occupations happen. Hmm. No, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Well, hold on. Indonesia's back? What? When did you... Uh, was annexed by Indonesia. So, 1767, apparently Ireland lost a war. Oh, it must have been against, like, Bali, and then Bali is like, I had to release them, I guess. Must have been. And the Mamluks are still going in. I'm just saying, Somalia played themselves, man. Like, wh where was that army? Right here. 55,000. The one army that might have made a difference is just on the fucking island. They don't know what's happening back home. Oh, it's only three provinces, but still. That fucking sucks. What else? Come on, Yugoslavia, what's it gonna be? You're at 96 war score. There it is. Oh my god. I just... It's just amazing how across the 1700s, Fulda was at the peak of their power and now they're just in the dumpster. God damn. Uh, do we have the revolution yet? Or is that the only only in the 1800s? I don't know, it might only be in the 1800s. New Yugoslavia is even in the Balkans. They are going back for old Yugoslavia. Yeah, and the United States is uh, liberating more of Algarvian Mexico. You get after America. Land of the free, home of the brave. Something like that. <laughs> How long? What's, what's your liberty desire? Tw See, Nova Scotia doesn't even have that much liberty desire. These guys? They have a lot of liberty desire. They really want out. They really do not like Algarve. And now the Four Shadow Kingdom is going in on Fulda. You know, it's a feast. They're trying. Mm. 
more people are going after Belid. Uh, yeah, there's really not anything hugely pivotal going on right now. Not yet, at least. I'm just surprised that, like, the subcontinent is, like, super stable. No one is really, like, going after each other. The Chalukyas aren't going after anyone. Gahadavalos aren't. Kaoyani, Chola, Trikalinga, Gachin Independence Army for that matter. Uh, even the Black Horde, just like, yeah, we're chilling. We don't want to rock the boat. No one wants to rock the boat, apparently. And Katarik is going after more of Algarvian land. Yeah, I think they, I think I know why. I think I know why they want to get independence. They want to get independence before Katarik comes after them. They want to escape before the Guarani get over there. <laughs> Ardurg won their war against the Finnish. Algarvian Cascadia, do you want independence? No, you don't. You're like one of the one loyal colony. Who's par who's the who are the enemies of Paradox? Uh, Maram, Kingdom of Venice, and Sahel Anthropus. If Maram ever goes in on Paradox, it's over. But I mean. Maram would be forsaking their alliance with Finland, so that's not going to happen. This this province. What, what, the, what the fuck? Are you, what are you doing, Sahel and Thraupus? Careful there, Finland. Don't be like Fulda and then be left on no manpower as your armies are so spread out they get wiped off the map. I think I think we all need to learn a lesson from Fulda's uh, fall from grace. Do not get caught without any manpower and your armies are spread thin. Seventeen seventy-two. We've got eight more years in this part. Eight more. Who's down here? Oh, Yugoslavia is even down here. Interesting. Ronaldo is fucking Australia down here. Jesus Christ. I'm kind of surprised how much Bali took. They, they, they took a lot down there. And they're allied with the Gahadavalas and Chalukyas. So they're pretty good alliances. They have sizable forces. Um, God is... You're even at war with Ireland, your longtime friend! How could you? Oh, no. And on top of that, they're at war with Katarai. The West Indies have, uh, they've made some good friends. And their independent, their independence is supported by Katarak, so they're not, they're not help- Algarve in Mexico is not helping out in this war. Well, I'm just curious, like, so, is Katarak gonna help support the independence of, like, Algarvian Colombia or Irish Colombia or uh, you know people in their path like Argentina maybe I have no idea although Argentina is a loyal colony they're fine there's so many war oh what um so the Black Horde, apparently, was uh, is having a succession crisis, and it's under the Gahadavalas. So this is the Gahadavalas, the Black Horde, Bali, and the Kachin Independence Army going against the Chalukyas and Sahelanthropus. Okay, and Karajetai is going after Onangolia. I didn't think these two would go to war at all, but 
Okay. They might not even get anything. If this colony is burned down, then there's nothing going to be... No? Okay. They're actually going to keep it. If the Gahadavalas and the Kachin Independence Army can push back hard enough, then this will be a huge power shift in the subcontinent. This is actually huge. This will be like all of northern, in almost all of northern India, just or along the Ganges River, united. But the Chalukyas—they're pushing hard. A full frontal. Take that out of context if you want. God, the Valas, what are you doing? Oh, Sahalanthropus. They're trying to... Sahalanthropus. Why are you doing this, Sahalanthropus? Uh, the Sahalanthropus does not have the discipline, but they do have the morale advantage. They also lack the tactics. You know what they also lack? Common sense to just invade through here. Not around. Jesus Christ. I'm also trying to keep my eye on this war up here. Okay, no, never mind. No, no land is going to be taken. Karakhetai uh, abandoned that colony all around Lake Baikal. Okay. I'm thinking Algarb is going to lose this one, but I, I could be wrong. Algarb may very well win that. I, ju I just don't know. Finland's going after the Order of the Duck. And, okay. The rest is pretty much miscellaneous wars. Uh, but this is, this, this is a, this is the big one right now. Because if the Black Horde then goes under the Chalukyas, I think uh, it's, this is, yeah, the Chalukyas, that's going to be a really big power shift too. And everyone is Gahadavala and Dynasty too. It's all good. The Gahadavalas have spread out plentifully across the subcontinent. Deva, Chola, Chola. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so the Chalukyas... Oh my god, there's so many Gahadavala regiments. But they're all spread out. They need to consolidate. Chalukyas are consolidated. <clears throat> so Gahadavala has the discipline. Though they, they're edged out in morale, but just barely. Uh, and same tactics. So, really, Gahadavala should be able to... They should be able to get this a war like in their favor and plus the black horde isn't without its own troops they got 80,000 uh, how's that uh then they, they got no liberty desire so they're completely loyal yeah it's not to helanthropus like they've got a hundred thousand but i'm just not seeing where they're gonna help out it's mostly between the chalukyas and gahadavalas and the Gahadavalas, they got the numbers to sustain this war and push into the Chalukyas. The Chalukyas, they're, they're draining manpower. They, they don't have much left. Mm, maybe Sahal Anthropos is just serving as a distraction. Maybe. If that's the case, then... The Gahadavalas, they might just, they might not be able to hold off the Chalukyas, and the numbers game might not really matter that much. That is an interesting turn of events. Anything else going on? Al Nasser going to order the deck. Okay. One thing. Yep, no one has made it to the capital. Or at least, I don't... Like, the Order of the Duck is slowly losing land, but... Like, they're not... The core... Their, their core islands are not being taken over. Okay, so Halanthropus is down to 50,000. They are really vulnerable to, like, Paradox just swooping in. The Gahadavalas, they, st they still got plenty of manpower. Well, not plenty of manpower, but, you know, they got enough manpower left. It's, it's still looking to be in favor. The war goal is Doaba. 
and no one's going after it. Oh my god, I need some water. <laughs> I need to grab me a mo water. Well, while this war continues to go on, I'm going to take a sip. Did the Holanthropus piece out? They did, so Chaluk, yes. Uh, this is looking a little bit more bleak. And and losing that battle, Gahadavala's and the Black Horde, they're teaming up. They know what to do. It is looking bad for the Raj or the Gujaratis. I was gonna say Rajputs, but Solanki Rajputs, you know. You know. And the Kachin Independence Army pieced out too. I forgot they were in this war too. They didn't contribute that much, but they contributed nonetheless. Well, it's a big peasant revolt, but shouldn't be a problem, right? Oh my god. Okay, the Chalukyas have folded. And you know who else is in this? Holy shit. Kalyani is now feasting on the corpse, and so is Paradox. Paradox, why? What do you... Where are you... What do you even want? Ah, okay. Over here. But, I mean, are you real... No. No! Paradox is going in on Sahelanthropus. Karakita, you know? Maybe you wanna do a little something, you know? Strike southward? But yeah, Kalyani, Kalyani Chalukyas, uh, they're going in as well. Gahadavalas, uh, they have pierced the shield. They have let the floodwaters in, and now, goddamn. There you go. Finishing that succession war in style. The Gahadavalas now border Sahalanthropus formally. And uh, Kalyani is, uh, they're not going to be kind to the Chalukyas. They really are not. Paradox, they're not going to be kind to Sahalanthropus. Uh, so this is, uh, this is more of, this is more of an eventful part than I thought. I thought we were going to get more European shenanigans, but no. And Algarvian West Indies did not get independence. I thought they would, but... Alas, the colonial overlords remain in power. Skip. Where's Skipitari even? Tell me. Oh, they're, they're still in the Canaries. Interesting. I'm, I, I think we're also just going to see the downfall of Sahelanthropus. Like as, as powerful as these weapons are, they surpass Metal Gear. They cannot surpass the monetization policy of Paradox Interactive. It's just how it is. Yeah, that capital is a that capital is a bitch to break down, but uh, it's gonna get broken. Oh. Uh. So, Finland is going after Bali, and as a result, they are also going after the Gahadavalas. And Paradox is in this too, so the Gahadavalas are at war with Paradox. Finland isn't moving any of their European troops. I'm not sure why. They should have access through Maram, but okay. Oh no, no, they are moving troops. The Gahadavalas might suffer a lot here. I'm not sure. And then the Kachin Independence Army is... They're going... No. Oh, oh. This is the Chalukyas. Ah, okay. So, uh, Trikalinga is allied with the Kalyani Chalukyas. And so Trikalinga is at war with the, the, uh, the regular Chalukyas in Gujarat. And, you know... The Chalukyas are occupying Trikalinga land. I, I get it. It's all connecting together piece by piece in my head, you know? 
We're putting the gears together. Gahadavala, they're streaming in. They don't... They don't... They don't want to let this war just sit idly by. But Paradox, you still need to get over here. And over here. Because if you don't, that war score is just going to keep ticking in the favor of Jalukias. And Paradox also has to deal with the Gahadavalas. I don't know why I like saying that. That's... It's actually kind of fun to say. Mm, paradox, you gotta concentrate your forces more so than that. We'll do, we'll stop this at about October, November of next year. And uh, Finland, if you want to win this war, you gotta dedicate a whole lot more. Like, you're not dedicating anything down here, so, I mean, the main part of Bali is intact. I mean, uh, no, 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 yeah, yeah. The main part of Bali is intact. So that means you gotta dedicate. Good God, Galliani. That's a lot of fucking land. They just, they cut, they just, they just cut Chalukyas off from the coast. Just sliced. It's not even a clean slice either. It's like with a rusty blade. That's just, that's fucking brutal. <laughs> Oh my god, man. Shit. <sighs> Paradox, man. Just getting involved with it all. Paradox has 170,000, 180,000. The Gahadavalas combined with the Black Horde, they have about 300,000. I'm not entirely sure Paradox is going to get out of this unscathed. I mean, like, they're not going to get any land taken from them. They're too far away. But they may be humbled in terms of uh, being shown who's what. What power really means. I have no idea. We'll see. Well, uh, this part is ending in a few months anyways. Uh, let's see. Algar was going after Katsina and Alba. Um, Finland, Bali. Okay, peace. So yeah, just miscellaneous wars, really. Nothing huge happening in Europe. Algar has moved their name down to West Africa. They don't want to show it to Yugoslavia after what happened. Uh, that was a... That was a brutal war. I'm just, that, there, there's nothing short. Like, it was brutal. Nanjiao. They haven't gone to war either. They're just chilling. Is Nanui dead? No. They're Sunni, though. Okay. Forsake the teachings of the Buddha. I see how it is. Bitch. Paradox peace. Paradox did peace out. So now it's the Kahadavalas against uh, Finland, but I don't think there's really anything that's going to result of this. I don't think Kahadavala is going to travel all the way up there. So, yeah, that'll be it for this part. Uh, Bali still has faithful allies. And lots of interesting ha things happening in the subcontinent now. And lots of in interesting things happening in Europe, as per usual. But, that's going to be it for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Let's go over the leaderboard. We have the economic hegemon being proclaimed by Algarb. The military hegemon being proclaimed by Yugoslavia. And in first place for development, we have Algarb. In second place, we have Finland. In third place, we have Syracuse. In fourth place, we have Yugoslavia. In fifth place, we have Maram. In sixth place, we have Katarich. In seventh place, we have the Gahadavalas. In eighth place, we have the Fourth Shadow Kingdom. In ninth place, we have Paradox. In tenth place, we have Aquitaine. In eleventh place, we have the Kalyani Chalukyas. And in 12th place, we have the Kingdom of Venice. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in part 16.